President Trump set to head to Mount Rushmore in South Dakota for a massive fireworks show tonight, the first there in a decade. His visit is expected to draw thousands amid a spike in coronavirus cases nationwide. The DNC slamming the trip in a statement, quote, instead of living up to the most basic responsibilities of his office, this Independence Day, Donald Trump is still downplaying the virus, calling for a slowdown of testing, bucking social distancing guidelines, and showing Americans why we can't afford four more years of him in the White House. South Dakota is one of the few states where coronavirus cases have not been spiking lately, but Mount Rushmore, of course, is a huge attraction for out-of-state tourists. Still, the governor says social distancing is optional tonight. We've told people to focus on personal responsibility. Every one of them has the opportunity to make a decision that they're comfortable with. Those who want to come and join us uh, will be giving out free face masks if they choose to wear one, but we won't be social distancing. So, Johnny, you know, the DNC's second round of criticism of the president was better than the first, in which they accused him of holding a white supremacy rally and glorifying white supremacy by celebrating the Independence Day. What are your thoughts about the criticism of, of this uh, fireworks display? Well, there's kind of two issues at hand here. One is is not observing social distancing wrong on the president's behalf and, and holding this celebration. The other one is kind of a deeper issue of the Sioux Indians in that area not liking the fact that there are white people carved into the mountain. And, uh, and so on both of those, I can tell you one thing, the 7,500 people that show up to that celebration, they're not gonna social distance in somewhere else anyway. So it's not like we're causing them not to. If they're choosing not to, that's, that's how they're living their lives. I think the face coverings, uh, probably most people will have them on. And just like the governor said, that's their decision and I applaud that. When it comes to faces in Mount Rushmore, the Sioux Indians in that area weren't even there in the late 1700s. They conquered the Cheyenne and took it from them. And so the idea that they have some sacred tradition there is a little bit far-fetched. And I learned that from a, a fellow Marine who has a radio show and looked it up. And so what I'm saying here is that before we get all outraged, maybe we do a little research and learn some historical context. I applaud the fact we have Mount Rushmore. I think it's an amazing thing and I hope we go see it one day. But Leslie, I mean, it seems like it's difficult to stomach this idea that the president is being breathlessly criticized and other Americans who want to celebrate Independence Day, the foundation of the country, uh, are being criticized for daring to do so. However, the media has been endorsing these massive gatherings of thousands of protesters in the streets around the country and don't seem to have the same criticism or concerns about their spread of the virus. Well, uh, you know, I don't disagree with you, Katie, that, you know, people don't look at the protest, um, but uh, watching somebody come home from the hospital every day beaten and battered and talking to friends that sign so many death certificates that they become desensitized to people being human beings and that those numbers stand for lives. This is a slap in the face to the healthcare industry. We as Americans have to just accept the reality that we're going to have to wait for our lives to return to what they were. We need to social distance. We need to wear masks. We see what's happened in Texas, in Florida, and happening here in California. We, if you don't want to listen to the healthcare professionals, then just look what's happened in South Korea, Japan, Europe, and of course, New Zealand. We need to stop being children. We need to be responsible. And quite frankly, the president needs to lead with responsibility. You can, look, I'm, go, I'm gonna have a little barbecue in my backyard, social distancing with masks, a few people six feet apart, and still be able to be patriotic. But, you know, do I want to have fireworks for me and my kids? Absolutely. Do I need to wait for that? Yes. Look, this this is this is true. This is life. We haven't gotten rid of COVID-19-1. We're worried about COVID-19-2. We are all in this together, and we're not going to defeat this unless we together make a decision to be responsible. And so far, Americans have not shown that they can be responsible when you just look at the stats well, and the spikes. And by the way, South Dakota did last well, month have 5,000 additional cases. Uh, this could lead to more. Why do we want to risk that, especially for somebody who has a, a vulnerable mm -hmm. uh, underlying health condition that they may not even be aware of? 
Well, that's the governor said it is people's choice to show up to this event. But Jillian, uh, Leslie cites health professionals, and we've relied on them a lot over the course of the last five months to give us information. But there's also been a lot of miscommunication and changing of what the guidelines should be, how the virus is spread, wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Um, so maybe people are skeptical of those experts at this time. I think that a lot of Americans are absolutely skeptical of the health experts, including President Trump sometimes. He has not shied away from disagreeing publicly, sometimes even at the podium, at some of these COVID-19 briefings with Dr. Fauci or with Deborah Birx, asking them questions, pushing them on issues. So a lot of Americans, I think that reflects the fact that a lot of, American, of Americans are skeptical. The reason that public health experts have changed guidelines as we move along is because this is a novel coronavirus, hence its name. It is a pandemic, the likes of which in size and scale we haven't seen in this country in over 100 years. So I think a lot of the health experts are really like learning about this virus and how it operates in the human body in real time as we lived through it with them. They're still learning about it today. So I don't think the fact that they have gotten it wrong from time to time means Americans shouldn't listen to them and should disregard whatever the guidance is. As to this event uh, tonight, I think it is a living, breathing microcosm um, of the vision the president sees for the country. Offer people the option to social distance if they want to, but don't force them. Offer them the opportunity to wear a face covering if they don't. If the president's vision um, of this event is right, then everybody will be fine. If he's not, then this has the potential to be a super spreader event. We obviously hope it is the former. Indeed. Carly, we'll catch you on the next block. Sorry about that. Uh, China faces